The Formula 1 circuits arrived at Silverstone this weekend for the British Grand Prix and in today's video I'm going to take a look at three things for you to keep an eye out for over the weekend. The Valtteri Bottas Title Challenge There has never been a better time for Valtteri Bottas to try and become a Formula 1 World Champion with Ferrari being quite a bit off the pace and Red Bull in a battle with Racing Point. There is currently a difference of 5 points between Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas in the driver's standings, with the British driver Hamilton going top after winning the Hungarian Grand Prix. There will be no fans at this race at Silverstone to give Hamilton the extra age that he wants to win the race. But with Bottas claiming pole last season in front of a packed Silverstone crowd, albeit by the narrowest of margins, it shows a home advantage isn't everything. Bottas needs to be within touching distance of Hamilton come the end of the Silverstone double header, and if he is, the title fight might just be on. If Hamilton heads to Spain with more than a race win difference in points, then Bottas might just need to settle for a runners up spot this season. Changing of the guard? When you think of the current British Formula 1 drivers, Lewis Hamilton usually is the first name that comes into your head. But in fact, the first British driver to stand on a Formula 1 podium this season was McLaren's Lando Norris. Lando Norris took advantage of the struggling Ferraris and the non-finishing Red Bulls to claim what would be McLaren's second podium in just three races. Norris then put in another great drive the following weekend to finish in fifth, before having a slightly more difficult weekend in Hungary, finishing down in 13th place. He has really developed as a driver over the long winter break, and while his fan base has grown due to him live streaming on Twitch, his performances on track are going a long way to show why McLaren made the right decision to place him in the car last season. He has also been seen helping his mechanics strip down the car after the Hungarian Grand Prix, proving that he is not only a great driver, but also a team player as well. Could Norris put in yet another impressive drive to take away the headlines from Lewis Hamilton? Only time will tell. Will the new upgrades bring Williams back into the midfield? The progress of Williams this season has been great to see, with the British based team renewing the contracts of both their drivers for next season. Keeping hold of the highly rated George Russell is massive for the team, and while Nicholas Latifi hasn't done anything special so far this season, he is in one of the worst cars in the grid. Consistency is what the team needs right now. For the British Grand Prix, the team are bringing new upgrades which they describe as powerful. These upgrades will hopefully help the team improve their race pace as the pace they show on a Saturday afternoon in qualifying has been quite impressive so far, with both cars getting into Q2 for the first time since 2018 in their last outing. The drivers have been alternating the upgrade for each race so far this season, with track time being limited after George Russell suffered a fuel pressure problem in the opening race of the season, which also saw Nicholas Latifi almost grab his first Formula 1 point after finishing in 11th place. He might yet claim his first point in Formula 1, or points, if Racing Point's car is deemed to be illegal, which has given the team the nickname, Tracing Point. So there's three things to look out for at the British Grand Prix. It should be an exciting race, and why not have your say in the comment section below as to who will win the race. If you want to read more motorsport content, then why not head over to the apexmotorsport.com. If you did enjoy today's video, then why not hit that like button, along with hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell, so you don't miss out on any videos here on the Apex Motorsport. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye.